Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you love hand knitting and would love to make a new fall project, I am here to show you that today. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I chose uh, these three colors and this is a green, an orange, and a mustard gold. Um, you're going to want some polyfill to fill each one of the pumpkins, um, some ribbon or twine, something to um, use as your stem. I got a pack of wine corks at Michael's, scissors and hot glue to attach your stem. So let's go ahead and start the base of the pumpkin tower and just like a normal pumpkin, I'd leave a tail. And this one I'm gonna cast on 16. So there's your slip knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I do these a little bit smaller than I would for a blanket. So here's 16. And I'm gonna go around in a circle, put the tail through the last hoop and tighten it. Now, I'm going to push this working yarn through. It's a little bit tight on the first one. Um, and we're gonna go through, just like the pumpkin, each leg to pull out your stitches. Um, really any colors go good together. Um, you could also do a green, orange, and ivory, or black and orange. And of course, again, for the stem, you can do anything, uh, wood pieces, um, yarn, like I have the wine cork, um, cinnamon sticks. Okay, so here we've got our stitches pulled out. Now we're just going to continue going around. And then after I do a couple of rows, I fold it in half. This project takes about 40 minutes, I would say. Since you're making three pumpkins together, and now I'm folding it in half and continuing knitting. I will come back. I'll just keep knitting around and I'll come back when we have 10 um, stitches on each row here. Um, so I'm gonna do 10 rows up and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I've gotten 10 rows up and I'm gonna go ahead and close the bottom of it. Um, so you take your tail and go outside in each one of these 
cast on loops. And then we'll cinch it tight as we go. and keep going around just like you would close up a pumpkin. So you don't have a hole there. You still have a little bit of a hole you can see so I'm going to keep going through another stitch or two. One more all right then I'm going to put this through that hole turn it over and tie a knot. Okay, in just a minute, I'm gonna um, put some polyfill in this one. But first, what we're gonna do is um, just like when you cast off a blanket, I'm gonna cast off this pumpkin. So I'm going to take two stitches and pull it the working yarn through to make one and then I'll pick up another stitch pull the working yarn through and keep going all the way around until your cast off um, is complete. You want to make sure that you keep your pumpkin uh, stitches tight so the polyfill does not show through. Um, you just keep picking up second stitch to make it one and continue around. Okay, and here we are at the last one. We'll pull that, and then I'm going to go through, I'm gonna actually cut this off right now. And take this last stitch and go through another and put the tail through that and cinch it tight. Um, I'll do it one more time. And then put that to the inside. Okay, so we're done with the green. Um, you can, it's probably three fourths of a skein that we used for this um, base of the tower. So you could probably make another small pumpkin with that. Um, now we're going to take the orange yarn and what you're going to do is leave a, a little tail hanging in and we are going to go through um, the outsides of these and just put stitches in. So we're going to do this for, um, let's see, 
the last one was 16 so we're gonna do um, 12 here so two and then three four do the bottom five six and there's seven take this and weave it in well yeah I'll just weave it in here and uh, it'll just go to the inside okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go around one more time and then we'll put in our polyfill Again, remember to keep these stitches smaller than you would a blanket. It's, it's about a thumb size, actually. And if you get your stitch too wide, you can just pull it back. Uh, with the working yarn. All right. So now we've gotten two rows. And we're going to go ahead and put some polyfill into the base of the pumpkin tower. You can really use any kind of filling you'd like. Um, this was just a square pillow that I used. Um, but all the craft stores sell polyfill and um, I like to get my pumpkins nice and full. All right. And now we're going to keep going around. And I'm going to go up seven rows for this one. And we're on row three. So I will come back when I have reached the seventh and we're ready to change um, colors. Okay, so I've done seven rows of my orange and I'm gonna go ahead and do um, another row around. Oops, that's a little big. So it'll be a total of eight. rows up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, 
want to make sure I did eight on each of them. Two, one, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, here we go. Now we are going to um, add more polyfill for the second pumpkin. love this cute little project. Um, that's probably good for right now. Um, just like the other one, we are going to trim off. Oh, I'm going to cast off first. So again, just like before, we're going to take two stitches and pull the working yarn through to one. Two stitches, pull the yarn through, one loop, pick up a second, pull it through, pick up the second, pull it through, and continue all the way around. My first one ended up being about 18 inches, so we'll see how this one is, uh, how tall it is. Okay, last loop. Pull it through. Now I'm going to trim. Oops, got a little polyfill there. Um, I'll turn this off and we are done with that color. Now I'm going to take this last loop and add it to this one and pull it through and then I'm just going to snug it tight and I'll push that to the inside again. Now we can add a little bit more. You want to make sure that you're, you know, shaping it so it's going to be um, pumpkin shaped for your tower. All right. Now we're going to do the gold. So just like the other, we're going to just create loops and this one is going to be eight loops so one two three four, five, six, yeah, you're going to want to skip a few of the, uh, um, stitches so that you have your eight stitches. Okay. Again, I leave this to the inside. I'm gonna leave it in and just make a little knot. that stays to the inside. Okay, four and four. Now we're gonna keep knitting these around. And this one, 
I did seven uh, rows, so we'll see how it looks at six. We're on row two here. And if you get any polyfill, just stick it back in there. Again, make sure that these loops are small. My first one I made just a little bit too big on the top stitches and had to fix it. <clears throat> just keep turning it around to continue knitting your row. And we're on row four. is row five and every once in a while in a skein of yarn you come up with a knot so depending on where that knot is at is whether I'll cut it out or not let's see where it's gonna go on the inside so it's staying one two three four five I hope you all are enjoying uh, this video and if you are please subscribe and like um, and comment if you have any suggestions One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I'm gonna go a little bit further. Do another. Round, because I wanna make sure that this one's a little bit taller. Good. So we are going to cut it off at about 10 to 12 inches. We will stuff this one just like the other two. And then we will close it up and do the finishing work. bit more in there. Okay, that's great. Just like you would nor uh, close a normal pumpkin, we're going to go from the inside out. Pinching it tight. Inside out, inside out, and inside out. Okay. Make sure you have enough um, polyfill in there, which I do. And I'm going to do this last one. Let's see. 
want to leave enough of a hole for the stem. Um, so now we will tie a knot, stuff this little guy in. I've got my glue gun hot, so Now I'm just going to show you, I put it around uh, the edge and the bottom. And then I stuff it in. Now I'm going to do the ribbon. This sunflower ribbon I found at Hobby Lobby and again I'm gonna put a little dot of glue so my ribbon will just a little dot so that my ribbon will stay attached. Again, you can do whichever you like to do, whether it's, you know, raffia or um, ribbon. Let's see here. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And this, Um, I cut it a little bit long, so I'm just going to trim it. And that's your pumpkin tower. So I will come back in just a second and show you the finished product. Thanks for joining me um, to make these cute little pumpkin towers. Um, again, if you like my channel, please subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.